All right, so quickly, let's look at how to edit your book, you know, for free using AI, this time around ChatGPT. Okay, I'll put this link in the description. I've already signed up. You may have to sign up if you haven't, so I'll click on login. Right. So it would ask me to log in with my Google, if I have Google or Microsoft or Apple, whatever you use, I will choose my um, Gmail account that's already registered on a platform. And so just while that happens, I'll quickly show you what book I want to work with. Here is the book as a story written by um, a brother. So I'm just going to copy some of it and work with it so you can see what is going to happen. Okay. Also, I have prepared a prompt. What instruction do I want to give to this um, AI to do for me? So I have it. I'm saying, as a professional proofreader, editor, and award-winning writer, kindly proofread, punctuate. I'll take away this. Punctuate and edit for grammatical coherence and maintain brevity in the text below. So I'm going to take maintain brevity out because I don't want you to edit anything. So I'm just saying do not alter any sentence structure in these texts. Also leave all dialogues intact. So why am I doing this? I'm kind of confusing AI a little bit because I'm saying edit for grammatical coherence. That's a command. And I'm also saying do not alter any sentence structure in these texts. Then I'm saying leave dialogues intact. The reason I'm doing this is because I've tried the software and I can see that if you ask the, software, the AI to edit for grammatical coherence, it will do just that. It will rewrite some of the sentences to sound better, the way AI feels it should sound better. Okay, so I'm now saying do not alter so that it will only do it where it is necessary. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. That's my command. Okay, and that's called prompt. So here is where we type things, okay? Send a message. Now I've logged in already because I just clicked that. And here. So I'll paste. Okay. So I hold down my shift button so that I can press enter to go down. If I don't hold down my shift button and I press enter, this text will post. Okay, this command will post. And it will ask me for the text that I want to edit. But instead, I just hold my shift down like that and press enter so I can create space. Now I want to post the text for the first uh, part of the book. Okay. Okay, so let's just start with the preface from here up. Preface. Copy that. Copy. Now we'll paste that under it and then send the message. So now it's began to do it. So that's all, it's done. Okay? That's in like <laughs> three seconds. So let's look at the original a little bit. Once upon a time there was a woodcutter whose name was never recognized. Once upon a time, comma, there was a wood comma, wood quarter whose name was never recognized, comma, but his wood endured all generations. There is no full stop here. Let's see what ChatGPT does. Once upon a time, comma, there was a wood quarter whose name was never recognized, comma, but his wood endured all generations. Full stop. Okay, good. They put full stops. Now here with this dialogue, you know, dialogue um, punctuations, some word is symbol of the wood around them. This is obviously a narration. Some went to war with the symbol. Some sang with it. Some sang to it. No full stop here. No full stop here. Some even prayed to it and so on. Let's see what ChatGPT does. Now it puts that in a quotation. Some wore the symbol of the wood around them. Some went to war with the symbol. Some sang with it. Dot. Some sang to it. Some even prayed to it. Some despised it while some argued about it and even fought because of it. In all the nation of mortals, it was always talked about, preached about, as if there was one thing they couldn't do. Ignore it. Okay? 
and so in all generation of mortals it was talked about preached about comma if there was no as so it added as okay and then if there's one thing they couldn't do you see here it actually puts um a semicolon then it's ignore it that's the one thing they couldn't do so if i was a reader and i'm you know i'm narrating the story with this punctuation i would read much better than i would read the original because now i would say some word is symbol of the word around them some went to war with the symbol some sang to it some sang with it some even prayed to it some despised it while some argued about it and some even fought because of it in all the generations of mortals it was always talked about preached about as if there was one thing they couldn't do ignore it because of the semicolon it gives me a chance to just slow down and say ignore it okay <clears throat> however if this was left to me this is not my personal job it's my brother my friend's job like I said if this was my job I would allow this AI some form of freedom to maybe edit some sentences for example some wore the symbol of the wood around them some went to war with the symbol some sang with it some sang to it some even prayed to it some despised it while some argued about it and some even fought because of it but to some 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 right about like seven sums there right now in that um, sentence alone or in that paragraph alone while some uh, professionals may say uh the sum is too much but remember i just asked this chat gpt ai to work as a professional proofreader editor and an award-winning writer okay and still the ai didn't think the sum was too much and what does that mean i can trust the ai to say that because for me the sum 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 is sort of rhyming in the reading so if i was reading i would pronounce the sum each sum maybe slightly differently some what is symbol of the word around them some went to war with the symbol some sang with it some sang to it some even prayed to it some despised it while some argued about it and some even fought because of it you know I could go different style and test different style until I find the style that works for me but this is not about reading or um, voice over this is about what ChatGPT can do so now I've already posted this one is giving me the feedback before I copy this well, let me just copy this okay I copy this one this feedback copy I go to say original document I press ctrl N to create a new document and I control V or just paste like this so that part is pasted okay you see all these edges around it here is because I'm copying from the software so what I can do is I can take my post and rather to say word part or notepad which is a bit um, is less cumbersome or complex so I just do paste here now you can see there are no lines around it so I'll then highlight here with ctrl A then I'll copy here and I'll go back here highlight this with ctrl A and paste on it so it writes my I'll delete this anyways and then I'll paste so now I only have those stains under each line so I can always work on that later on like remove the painting under each line okay so oh, I can just work here I can just work here and when I'm done working here you know, um, watch me I'm pressing ctrl A okay so I can you know good so this is how it should be no more quoting under it so let's do one more chapter one more chapter or chapter one of this book just to show you that this works you can do all of the book you know so far we spent nine minutes and I'm going to show you just how many seconds you can see the timing down here it takes to do this one this is chapter one let's copy all of it uh, hopefully it's not too much text yes good so it's not too much text it's just two pages so here we go copy 
okay copy copy so be sure we copy copy good and then we go here and just paste again and that's it I need to generate for you so that's it and it's generating already as you can see okay so you can see the stop sign here if I want to stop it I could stop it but I won't so you can see how fast it's writing and now it's done and if I'm not like cool with what I'm seeing if I read and I don't like it I can simply say regenerate and it would regenerate that means it would do it again so but I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna send this to the author and let the author decide if he is okay with this minor proof um, reading or proof editing that has been done okay if he wants more more detailed proof editing than this then he would say then I would simply change the prompt okay and when I change the prompt then we'll get a much different uh, result again okay so we'll just go down here and say boom chapter 2 is already edited of the book so this application ChatGPT can do a lot more okay than it just did and just show